Hello, I see a few people joining. You can say hello, tell me where you're from. I'd love to hear from you. I'm just sharing this to um, my business page and a couple of other groups. And I'll be right there. That's why I hopped on a, a minute or two early. Okay, let me put my laptop back. Everything seems to be working okay. Hello, hi Kay, thank you for sharing. Hi Aura. Yes, it's a nice co combination of uh, markers here. Interesting, huh? Okay, well, I'm here on an unusual evening, Sunday evening. When I first back in uh, March, April, 2020, last year, when I first started coming back to live weekly, I started Thursday evenings and then I switched to Wednesdays because Thursdays weren't convenient anymore. And, oh, I think I was also on on Sundays too. I did uh, some scrapbooking on Sundays. So if you guys could hold on one second. Hi. Good, can you shut the door now that you're home? I'm on the line, thanks. Okay, my husband just, this is the time my husband gets home um, from work on the weekend now that it's summer months. So that's why I was thinking I might come back to you on Sunday evenings, but we'll see. I, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. Um, hi, Bernice. Hi, Colleen. And Diane, nice to see you. Bernice, thank you for joining. Okay, I'm gonna get started. My name is Antoinette Bay with the Paper Papillion and I am an independent Stampin' Up! Uh, demonstrator here in Limbrook, New York. Uh, thank you for joining me tonight. Yes, I'm using a quite a combination of colors. So we have, let's go over what I have here. We're going to be using some pastel pearls. We're gonna be using these beautiful ribbons. Right? This one's from Playful Pets. It comes with a, 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 another ribbon right here. The red ribbon, that's the set, Playful Pets, but I always wind up using this one. And this is Pool Party Sheer. I'm not sure if I'm using it. I didn't use it on my sample, but I, I realized after I could. And then I'm using Fresh Freesia Open Weave Ribbon. And then Granny Apple Green, um, Stampin' Blends, Bermuda Bay, Daffodil Delight, Fresh Freesia, Pool Party, Dark Mango Melody, and then the Color Lifter. Okay, that's the combination of colors I'm using tonight. So I'm gonna put them all over to the side. And then we're using fresh freezer card stock, which is five and a half by eight and a half. I will have the measurements on my blog. Um, not sure what day. Um, not sure if I'll get to it tomorrow. Um, let's see. And then I used the scallop contours and I used the largest die here that has the open holes in it. And then let's see, what else are we using? We're using the hand-penned bundle, which is these dies, 
right here and it goes with the hand pen stamp set. So what I'm using from this set tonight is this flower right here and we'll be using the outlining die right here. And that's it from this bundle tonight. But these happen to be my favorite two dies, this, this catalog. And um, we're also using for sentiment. Now don't get scared, but I cut up my stamps. Now you see this is one whole big stamp. This is what I do because this whole stamp was driving me nuts. I cut them up. As I use them, I've been cutting them up. So don't panic, I have the one that we're using tonight right here, and it says congratulations. Actually, it says, so happy to hear of your exciting news, congratulations, but I'm only using the part that says congratulations. So we'll put that one right there. We're gonna be masking the, the top part of that. So that's what I do, and then when this goes away, I won't be you know reselling this or anything because I destroyed it, basically. I'll keep that forever. It's got a lot of good sentiments in it. And then this piece comes from the Memories and More hand penned. So you know where this comes from. This is the envelopes and then the cards. And I've been cutting the cards up quite a bit lately. This piece comes from the Pansy, uh, Pansy Petals. Okay, that's this piece. And the reverse side is this, which is really nice too. And this piece comes from my favorite black and white paper, True Love. So it's this diagonal stripe and then um, daisies, daisies on the other side. And this is going to be going away at the end of June. We won't be having that paper anymore. Okay, so we can get started. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to do is just give my cardstock base a nice crease. It's scored in half, okay? And now I have two pieces here. One is going to be, this is where I'm stamping my sentiment, and this is where I'm going to layer. So for now, let's start with stamping the sentiment in memento black, black memento. And here's the stamp set I already put on the block, and I'm going to do this like this. See, this stamp is smaller than our usual ink pads, so when it's small, since it's small like that, I like to kind of just work it this way rather than having this stamp go this way. I don't know, I find it easier. You can do either way, whatever suits you. Okay, so let's just give that a nice stamp. And it stamps very nicely. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Fresh Freesia. And I'm going to do the inside. I'm using the bullet side and just coloring these little dots inside the flower, pretty much just a circle. And then um, I'm doing this one down here. Okay. And then I'm coming. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for the shares. I'm just taking a peek. Hi, Kay. I, I think I said hello. Yeah, you love the gingham's patty. Hi, Patty. A lot of people cut that up, meaning the memories and more. Yep. Yeah. It's a nice pattern. And I like, I like that color. I love the pool party color and the polka dots. So now I'm coloring it in with the brush side of my light fresh freesia blend. And then I'm going to, once that dries, fresh freesia, for some reason, when you first put it on, looks more pink than, than the purple or lavender. And then when it dries, it gets to be more lavender. The next thing I want to do is take my Mango Melody and I want to do this flower and this flower and I'm taking the bullet side and just coloring these little dots and the lines. I think you can see that pretty clearly um, in the camera, just these little dots. 
thank you all for sharing and your comments and your likes and your loves. That really um, helps me out to get some more viewers here on Facebook. So just to give you an idea of how how hard I've been working to build this group. I was talking about it to somebody yesterday. Actually, my friend Patricia was here for card class. We had in-person, I'm sorry, scrapbook class. Yesterday was in-person scrapbook class. I had a class at 10 a.m. Uh, until 12.30, about 12.30. Oh, I'm sorry. So I started off with Mango Melody, The Dark, and then I brought in Dark Daffodil Delight, and now I'm filling it with the um, dark, is it dark or light? Light Daffodil Delight. Yeah, I did the Mango Melody first, then the dark Daffodil Delight, and then the light Daffodil Delight. Okay, so now for these two big flowers, I'm starting off with Bermuda Bay, and I'm starting off with the light, uh, dark. Dark Bermuda Bay and doing the same thing. So we were talking about that last March when work sent us home and who knew what was going on back then, uh, how serious the whole thing would get. I had 135 members in this group. And um, as of when I looked last, which was probably a couple of days ago, not looked, but when I, uh, I someone else joined, a couple of days ago and I noticed the number I think it was at like 672 so from last March to today and now that's a year and what two months or three months we went from 135 to 672 so that's pretty good I think when you average it out um, using the brush side now of the dark pool party I use the dark Bermuda Bay, and then I added some more color with the light Bermuda Bay, and now I'm pulling out some more color with the light, uh, dark pool party. Okay, so, you know, the group has grown, but just because we have that large number in this group, obviously not everybody watches, um, not live, or maybe they watch replays and things like that. I'm not sure. But the more that we spread it out to people by sharing, um, obviously they're joining the group for a reason. They, they're they crafters, right? So the more that you share, the more I'm hoping that the numbers keep growing and that more of those numbers will start watching. And then I also upload these video, these Facebook Lives in its original format, like right now, I don't edit anything. I upload it to my YouTube channel, which is also in the link here, <clears throat> if anybody's interested. Oh, 600, oh, thanks, Patricia, hi. Thanks for checking on that. So now I have dark granny apple green, and I'm doing the little lines here. So that's just a fun fact I thought I'd share with you tonight. Let's see. So yes, Patricia, who just answered, told me what number we're at in this group, um, was here yesterday when we were talking about it and we were scrapbooking. And now I'm using the light granny apple green to fill, fill in the leaves. Okay. And that's gonna be all the coloring we are doing. So do you like the combination here on the flowers. I've seen this combination before. Um, but honestly, when I, I saw a card with this color combination that was not using Stampin' Up! product. So it was this color combination and I guess different brand of markers or if it was even markers. Now I'm going back. 
with the dark. Now that these fresh freesia has kind of dried up a bit, all of the coloring has dried a little bit, I wanna add a little bit more, make this darker, and I'll bring this up to the camera so you could see it a little bit closer. Dark fresh freesia, uh, I think Mango Melody is just fine. I'm going to do some dark um, Bermuda Bay. I'm gonna go over that again. Okay, and then um, a little bit more of the dark green. And I'm gonna use, I need to get a new um, dark blend or new set because my brush, I happened to cut it a little bit. Uh, something happened to it, it got pressed the wrong way. So I was trying to create a point again. So it got a little bit messed up because I damaged it. Now I'm taking the color lifter and I'm just blending this this one. I'm sorry if the camera's shaking. And there we go. So that's the color. Do you like that? Oh yes, we did scrapbooking and we made a card. So let me see if you can see that nice and close up. Um, it takes us a little bit of a delay. So I'll wait a second and here it comes. Oh, my Bermuda Bay might be a little bit strong. That's okay, we'll, we'll, it'll look nice once it's on the card. So now what I'm going to do is bring over my mini cut emboss machine. <clears throat> and I am going to cut this down a little bit so it fits better inside this machine. There, like that. And then I'm going to get the die that outlines this, which is, this one right here, this one's for the other flower. I'll keep that right there for a second. And this lines up fairly easily. I don't even need um, a post-it note for it. It lines up really nicely. I hope it doesn't make a liar out of me. And then we will just crank that out. I'm going to go easy so I don't shake the camera too much. And yes, it cut out very nicely. See that? Very nicely cut. Okay. And that is all the cutting we are doing. Okay. Now, I chose congratulations as because I have a few graduations. Um, I mentioned that the other day. I, I think I made a, a graduate. Uh, we were talking about graduations, I think. And so the one thing I don't have is black cardstock. So hold on, get that. Okay. So I have a piece of black. I'm going to emboss it. So let's get the white embossing powder. Now I can move all my markers over, which I'm going to do, make more room here. Okay. I'm taking my embossing buddy so that I can get any kind of dirt or on, off of there and it won't be staticky where the powder will stick where I don't want it to. So now here, don't mind the way it's cut. It's not, the words are cut, but the stamp is not cut up like that. So I don't want this so happy to hear your exciting news on top. So what I'm going to do to eliminate that is take a piece of scotch tape from my handy dandy little tool right next to me. And I'm going to cover it with scotch tape. And um, I tried it with a post-it note and it didn't cover very well because it's just too small an area. So I'm covering this with two pieces of scotch tape because it could bleed through. And now I'm going to ink it up with Versamark Sorry, really good. And then I'm pulling this scotch tape because that scotch tape got inside the Versamark and I don't want any of it on my card here, my cardstock. Okay, you can't see it yet, but 
once I put the powder on, you see the magic happen. And here we go. Now I have a spoon right next to me, but I don't think I really need it. So I did do my embossing buddy, but for some reason it's still kind of hanging around. But that looks pretty good. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and I'll show you what I'm cleaning it up with. I'm gonna take my take your pick tool, the putty side. I'll squeeze a little bit more out. I may need a new a new one and I'm going to get all this off. But this is gonna get cut down anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, now you're gonna hear a little noise because of the heat tool um, and it has to get hot. So just let me let it get hot for a second. And I am gonna fix this flower here. I don't like the way it colored. I don't like the coloring job I did there. Okay. Okay, so that's done. Okay, and now I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. So I'm gonna cut next to the exclamation point and close next to the C. And cut a little bit straight across. And a little bit more down here. Okay, so now I have my congratulations. All righty. Now, you saw how I did the coloring here, and you saw that I don't really love how it looks here. It needs to, I'm taking the light Bermuda Bay, and I'm going to add a little bit more around. I, I think it's it looks too much like a circle, and I just, it's bothering me. And I'm just going to do that, and then... A little bit more with the light pool party. And I'll let it dry for a second, for a little bit. I think, yeah, I like that better already. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that a second. So now you saw how I did this coloring. Because I need three of these flowers colored, and I didn't want to do it on camera, all three, all you need to see is it colored once, right? I decided that I would do it ahead of time. Um, I actually have to bring my stamp and cut emboss machine back. So this one I did ahead of time, and then this one's going to be for the inside of the card. Um, I made a little boo-boo there. I, I accidentally put um, Mango Melody in there where it wasn't supposed to, but it's okay. It doesn't look bad. It's for the inside of the card. So let me bring the stamp and cut emboss machine back so I can cut that one as well. All right. Because coloring can get a little boring if you watch, if you're just watching, right? And since I'm the only one talking, pretty much, I don't have a whole lot to talk about. <laughs> Let's see, my daughter and I had dinner. She was here today. I let her borrow my car. And um, so she had a brunch today and she came over to drop the car because I had a couple errands to run, one of which was grocery shopping. The kid comes here. Well, the kid, she's not a kid, but she's almost 25 next month. But the first thing she does is look for food all the time. And it's just... You know, me, my husband, the dog. So I don't have a lot of food in the house. But yet, she's always looking. So I made sure that I went to the grocery store and I had food in the house and I cooked dinner. Um, and she went home happy. She took a nap after her brunch. And as I said, she went to brunch and yet she still ate dinner. A good thing that she's young and she can eat like that because she works it off 
I eat like that and it might as well just paste it onto the hips. Oh, where, where am I going with this? This goes here. Okay, like that. Okay, so, oh, there she is. Yes, it was good. Thank you, dear. All right. Now we can go ahead. So now we have the two and we have the sentiment and we have these. So let's go ahead and just put this on the inside. We'll get one piece down. Now, if I fail to mention it later, I will mention it now. This is the card that will go to, there's no prize patrol tonight. I only do prize patrol once a week. Normally I come to you on Wednesday night. This week I have to come to you on Thursday night because I have my uh, an old friend of mine um, that I worked with, uh, used to work with um, a long time ago. We're going out to dinner and the only night that she could do it is um, Wednesday evening this week. So I will not be available Wednesday. So I will come to you live on Thursday evening this week. So mark your calendars. I didn't get my newsletter out yet. Uh, not 100% I'm going to get it out this week. But um, So mark your calendars. If you want to be here on Thursday evening at 7 Eastern time, that's when I will be live again Thursday evening. And I'll post it here. Okay, now... These are all one and a half inch strips. And this piece right here is just a piece that's gonna go right in the center here, okay? So I'm going to lay this down here. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do too is just on here, I'm gonna put adhesive. Let's just put that there for now. Because this is bigger than this, we're gonna cut it down anyway. Okay, and now I'm gonna go a little bit topsy-turvy with this. I've done this before where I've kind of angled things, okay? So I'm going to add some more adhesive here. Oh. And then I'm going to turn this around a little bit. I'm gonna see how much I have here, okay. I'm gonna go like that. Okay, and then this one's gonna turn this way. Okay, a little topsy-turvy. I had it straight and I didn't like the way that it looked. So with the flowers on top, so I just kind of started playing with angling and I liked it. Okay. Okay, so there we go. You like Thursday better. I have church on Wednesday. Oh, you know, I think a lot of people like Thursday better. Um, so I don't know. I have to look at my calendar. I think a lot of people like Thursday better. Anyway, now I'm flipping it over because you see all the excess. And I don't want all that excess. So I'm just going to chop it off. I may consider Thursdays again, we'll see. A couple of things may be changing though anyway, but we'll see. Okay, and just a little bit more here. Okay, that will work. And it's gonna go this way, all right? <clears throat> I don't wanna have too much bulk going to get mailed so I'm just going to adhere this to to this instead of putting dimensionals on this and the other thing that could have been done here is using um the stitched rectangle but I did not think about it until just now actually doesn't that look pretty don't the colors look nice together and the black just kind of makes it all pop you know just that little bit of black it just makes it all pop okay so now, <clears throat> one of these is gonna get cut up, not cut up, cut up, but um, this, these leaves right here are gonna get cut off. So I might as well do that now. And we are going to use them. I'm going to reapply them, but 
I don't want them where they are right at this moment. And I'm trying to be neat about it. Okay. That's pretty neat. Now I can cut them apart because they're going to go in different locations on the card. That one goes there. And there. Okay. So now we have those two leaves cut off. So I'm going to start with this piece, I think. No, I'm gonna start with this piece. And I'm gonna put some dimensionals behind there and I have a fresh new sheet. And I will, I hope everybody had a nice Sunday, a nice weekend. I, I'm gonna put a lot of dimensionals around here. Um, I want it to sit really nice and not get saggy anywhere. So, okay. Um, it's been a little chilly here. It was really beautiful today for the most part. Really, really gorgeous. It's starting to get a little cool now. Uh, yesterday was chilly also, but comfortable. Like all my windows are open. It's just so comfortable. I love it not having to put on the air conditioning. Everybody was over here for scrapbooking yesterday and I didn't have to put on the air conditioning, which was nice. So I'm gonna put this right about, not too high, right about here, like that. And then this piece is gonna go on top like that. Now I do wanna take off a little bit more of the white around here because it sticks out of the The die cut it perfectly, but since I cut the leaves off, I want it to sit a little better. Okay, so that will go there like that. So what I'm doing is putting some glue up here and dimensionals down here, okay? Because that's the part that's going to sit on the piece that's already got dimensionals on it. Now I will throw some adhesive right back here on the top flower. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, oh, I have one that might be too high. Nope, that's good. So this is gonna go like this. I think, and then this is gonna go like that. A little too much of this is showing, so I'm gonna bring it up to a little bit more. This is the piece that's bothering me. This dimensional, I put it up too high. So I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. There. Okay, now these leaves are gonna go under as well. So this one's gonna go up here. I'm gonna put dimensional behind there. I need a smaller dimensional, so I'm going to take something from the scraps that I have. I have all these scraps, we'll use that. And then, this one can go like that. Okay, so this one's gonna go down here. And fill in the gap there. And this one's gonna go up on top. Like, like that. Okay. That part's done. Now for this, I'm just gonna take some liquid glue and lay it right on top, because it's, uh, actually I could use adhesive here. Uh, where is my adhesive? Right here. Okay, I could use adhesive. Okay. And that can go just like that. Actually, 
I'm going to take a little piece of dimensional and put it right underneath here. I don't have black in front of me, otherwise I would have used a little black mini dimensional. And I think I'm gonna put another one just to secure it right under there as well. <clears throat> just to secure this area here. I think that will do it. Yep. I might have to stick that dimensional in a little bit. Okay. Now it's time for the ribbons. Now, if you are ever, I don't know if I've ever done this on, I've seen this done before. Now the sheer ribbon, you would think you wouldn't want to cut that up, but when you cut it, you get this nice frayed look about it and it's not as bulky. The only thing I think I did on my sample was I think I made this shorter than I wanted. So we are gonna cut this again. And don't worry, this is not going to waste either. Um, I will use it on another, another project for sure, but I wanna make it about a couple of inches longer, okay? And now I'm going to take that and I am going to cut right up the middle because I'm only using one side. And you can do this very easily. And it and it doesn't necessarily fray until you start messing around with it. Like if I start messing around with making the bow, it, it can, I start playing with it too much, it'll start to fray, which is fine because I like that look. But this is delicate too. Now, I did not use the Pool Party Sheer Ribbon on my sample, but I'm gonna try it now because this is just an extra spare piece that was hanging around and I, I think I'm going to use it. Let's see, should I cut this one too? Let's see how it cuts first. I wanna see how this one cuts up the middle. Oh, I think I wanna cut it. Oh no, wait, maybe I don't. I just messed that up. Uh, maybe I do. Let's see. Shall we? Shall we not? Let me see how it looks if it frays too much. No, I think it'll be okay if I cut it. Okay, let me see. Let's get the length here. I want it to be the same length. So let's go there. Okay. So now we're fraying, we're cutting the pool party and the fresh freesia ribbon. We will not be cutting the black and white baker's twine. So I'm just going to go up the middle and use one side. Let's see how it looks. I don't think you'll see this one too much because it's so light. Even though it's pool party, it's so light. Okay, we have that. And let's do a nice long length of, I need to order another pack of these because I, I don't wanna run out of this. Okay, first I'm going to intertwine the Fresh Freesia and the Pool Party Sheer. And get that to the length that I want it. Oh, I think I like it with the two of them. And get that to the length that I want it to be. See, don't be afraid to cut your ribbon. Don't be afraid to cut your stamps. I'm not. I'm not in the habit of cutting my stamps, but I just didn't want to use it as one big stamp set, even though that's how it's meant to be used. And then die cut with all the dies that it comes with. So isn't that going to be pretty? Let's just finish it off now. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to try to tie this. 
And then you guys tell me if you think it's too much with the um, black and white twine. I like it on my sample because I tied the black and white twine pretty well. I think it depends on how, how it sits. But uh, let's see if I can do the same here and tie it nice. Because it's a little bit thicker, you know, because the twine is... Um, uh, the ribbon is so thin, so sheer and fine, right? Oh, I think I do like it. And I think I might let it just sit behind here instead of in front. Let's see what you guys think. And I do have to play with this in order for you to get the idea, the, the look of it. You have to play with it a little bit to get it right. So I'm going to let that sit there for a second. I mean, I have to cut things, but what do you think? Do you like the black and white? And on that side where it's more prominent or should I do where it's kind of in the background? or not at all. Let's see. Here's where it's kind of in the background. I know it might be hard for you guys to see. I kind of like it in the background. I kind of like it in the background. What do you guys like this, the way it is right now? I'm gonna hold on for a second to see if you guys can see. So that's what you're seeing right now is in the background. Definitely background. Okay. I got I got one definitely when I think that means background. So it's there, but not not too much. Okay. Let's just glue dot it. It looks good in the background. Okay. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Patty. Background. Thank you, Nora. Or not at all. Okay. I didn't really look at it, not at all, because I don't think I want it without it. I, I kind of really like it because it is still pretty subtle. Okay, so there it is. And let's see, just cut a little, cut a little. I like it long and in the envelope, it'll get a little bit, you know, pushed. Now let's get some gems. Okay, where did my gems go? Where did the, weren't they just here? All right, do you guys see them and I don't? No, you don't see, oh, here they are. They wound up underneath my laptop. So I'm going to use these right here. They are, these are the pastel pearls and um, I guess maybe here where I had it originally. And whoop. I had more room on my other card here. I don't know if I'm keeping that one there. And about here. I'll leave it like that for now. And there you have it. I didn't do the envelope, but the envelope will get colored the same way. Um, I don't know. I might not keep this. We'll see. I might just keep the... I feel like it needs it, though. I really do. I like it. All right, let me show you the original. Okay, wait, first. Ta-da, the inside and the outside. And then here's the original. So the original has the ribbon, the black and white ribbon on top. Did I do the inside yet? Yes, I did. I did the inside of that one too. So this is gonna go on, when I come back to you on Thursday night, just in case you got here late, I will not be here Wednesday evening. I will be here on Thursday evening. So on Thursday evening at 7 p.m., 
um, when I do prize patrol for the sharers and the comments. So it pays to comment here. It pays to watch, it pays to comment, it pays to share um, because then you get entered into prize patrols for, I uh, pick one name out of the box of all the names of the sharers and a separate box are all the names of the commenters and I pick for a prize. So to, for, for Thursday night, the, co the sharer that I pick will get this card and then whatever card I make Thursday night, the commenter will get that card. Now, I was here the other night and I said there was a card I wanted to do and I still didn't do it today. I thought I was gonna do it today and it's watercoloring, but I haven't gotten it to where I really want it yet, the sample. So until I do, it's still gonna, it's not making its debut yet, but I'll probably do it Thursday night because I'll have plenty of time between now and then. So I say, and then it turns out to be something else, but um, so, so I say, but between now and Thursday, hopefully I'll be able to. I have uh, some custom orders to fill on um, those specialty keepsake cards that I make. So I need to work on those because those have a due date, so. Um, but anyway, I hope you like it. You need to comment a lot. Love this card. <laughs> you know what, Diane? I really appreciate that a lot. But as many times as you comment, your name only goes in there once. <laughs> but that's a good idea. That's a good thought. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, otherwise, I'd be here all night ca uh, grabbing all your names and trying to get them in the box, right? And I think you were kidding, right? <laughs> I know you were. Um, but I'm glad you joined and I'm hoping everybody enjoyed this card. It'll be up on my blog in the next day or two. I started it actually. I took some pictures already today, but I may need to change it because I like the black and white in the back better. Do you still like the black and white in the back better than the front? I think there's a significant difference in the way it looks. So, um, tell me what you like better, the front or the back? And there are Although you don't see the pool party too much, there's a difference in that when you look at this card close up, like I can see it close up. There's a difference, so I'm happy with the pool party in there. And since I have the other half, I'll pull this apart and add it to that. So um, in the back, background, yay, I like it too. Okay, we all agree. We all craft alike, don't we? And that's why you're here, because you, cra you must craft like me. You still still like the back best. Yes, me too. All right. Thank you so much for your input on that. I appreciate it. All right. So thank you again for joining me tonight. If you have any questions about anything that I use. Oh, you know what else? One thing I just noticed. I have a brand new wink of Stella somewhere. I can't find it. So I still am squeezing as much as I can out of my old wink of Stella. So today I squeezed out the very last bit and I, I accented this. You can't see it in the camera, I'm sure, because I barely see it because there was so little in there. But if I find that wink of Stella, I'm going to wink of Stella, not the whole leaf, but just the accented parts that are darker. So there's a little bit of that here. Just wanted to mention that because I just can't find my brand new Wink of Stella. I'm so mad. Anyway, maybe I need to do a nice, good cleanup of my desk. I'll bet you I find it. I just vacuumed. But as soon as I vacuum, my floor looks like I didn't vacuum it anyway. So what's the sense? <laughs> but yes, I have to vacuum tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Happy Sunday evening. And... Um, I will see you Thursday night. I hope to see you Thursday night. Have a great week. See you soon. Bye-bye.